Hello, this is Mr. Kent of MrKent.com and this morning I had a few extra minutes to spare and uh, lately we haven't been able to visualize the pitch and roll on the um, videos that we're putting the overlays onto from the latest version of Verb Edit. And uh, I've had a couple of people comment and ask about it and uh, so I thought well, let me see if I can figure something out. And I looked and uh, tried to find answers on the internet, and I couldn't find anything. So uh, I decided, okay, I will uh, just play around. I have some extra uh, older versions of Verb Edit that you can go to uh, mrkent.com forward slash bebop. And uh, there's a version there uh, listed called... Uh, verb edit 4.2.2 and so I thought okay I'll uh, I'll see if that one works to give us pitch and roll and so I uninstalled the latest version of verb edit and downloaded and installed the version that uh, is on my on my web page I tell you what I'll, I'll take this and I'll pause it and uh, then we'll uh, we'll uh, do this and we'll minimize it and we'll go to my website <clears throat> and this is the page you would come to and right here uh, download verb edit 4.2.2 that's what I did I downloaded that and uh, then uh, installed it and I went back to one of my videos that uh, didn't have pitch and roll on it and I ran it through the process of uh, that we always do in order to get the telemetry on the screen and uh, <clears throat> lo and behold uh, I'm getting pitch and roll and not only that but the altitude over the ground and the uh, altitude in feet are apparently matching up as you can see from here <clears throat> there's still my my uh, bebop still doesn't have an accurate measurement but at least uh, over the ground and at altitude uh, from takeoff uh, seem to be working like they should. So I thought, well, this is great to get pitch and roll back because uh, that's kind of interesting. It's not a necessary part, but it's interesting. And so I thought, all right, I'm going to go ahead and uh, show the folks out there on in YouTube what I did. And uh, they can do the same thing and then uh, be able to get pitch and roll and the distance above ground and all that stuff uh, showing up on their overlays because it is kind of uh, you know kind of ugly to have things on there that don't work in fact I set up my own uh, overlay uh, that had other stuff on it and got rid of the uh, <laughs> got rid of the pitch and roll because it wasn't working that's kind of uh, embarrassing so here you can see that pitch and roll are working and uh, the feet above ground and the altitude are the same although that's not the right altitude because my bebop is inaccurate and I'm trying to figure out why that is so I'm going to close this and I'm going to go through the steps that uh, that uh, I'll demonstrate to you what I would do if you wanted to do the same thing so the first thing you want to do is go and uninstall the latest version of verb edit and uh, of course if you're not having any troubles uh like some of the uh some of the disco guys uh they're not having any trouble with it but it uh, seems to the latest version doesn't seem to work as well as some of the older versions on the bebop uh the bebop too so the first thing you do is you go uninstall your current version of uh verb edit and then you come over to mrkent.com forward slash bebop you can see it right there at the top of the screen <clears throat> you get here and then you come down to version uh, 4.2.2 download that and install it okay so then you have verb edit installed and uh, you're ready to go so here's here's what uh, the the first thing I do is I find let's see now this I gotta close this up uh, I had to dig through uh, last year's videos but I found the original video right here of uh, going to uh, measure the, the uh, height of the power lines and uh, you'll notice there's no uh, telemetry on there and I'll fast forward up here a little bit and we'll get up here where the power line is 
and you if you, if you saw this video you might remember it but uh, anyway it's uh, I was trying to uh, figure out how tall these power lines are so that when you do a flight test you'll be sure and fly high enough to go over them so uh, this is uh, in the finished video this shows the approximate altitude remember mine's not accurate and it wasn't at that time so uh, th this is the original bebop uh, video and uh, the only thing is you can't you can't run this video in in verb edit you have to convert this so what we would do is we go over here to the uh, VLC video editor and uh, we'll double click on that and get that going <clears throat> okay excuse me I got so uh, clogged up throat go over here to media in the upper left corner and come down to convert and save now I know that I've had this on other videos but I'm just gonna keep it simple for everybody that uh, is just learning this so convert and save and then we got to go over here and click on add and we're going to find our file um, and so this is going to be uh, let's see we're going to have to go to desktop go to uh, parrot shortcut 2018 uh, 1 through 6 month and we'll go down here to uh, I think this is where I want to go yeah there we go okay so uh, this is this is the original uh, video which I had to go dig up and we're going to select that okay that's there now we come down here to convert and save and click on convert now the next thing we have to do is we have to uh, well let's do this let's uh, let's browse first and this is going to take us back to that folder and you notice that I've already got one I've called I've created called for verb but we'll make a new one here I gotta move some stuff and type we'll say for verb two for verb two and uh, we'll say test or we'll say uh, demo okay that's the that's what we're gonna call it so we'll click on that now before we start we have to go up here to this little button that has the tools click there <clears throat> and then come to the second tab the video uh, codec <clears throat> excuse me I'm sorry and make sure that these are both checked okay and when you get that all done then you go back and click on save and now we would click on start this will work pretty fast on a short video this is going to take a little while so I'll speed it up and get it done fast okay it's all set uh, the little blue line disappeared from down here so we can just close the VLC video editor and down here you can find our this is our file right here for verb to demo and we're going to go into uh, verb edit and we're going to open up and bring that file in that's the next step so I'll go over here I don't have a shortcut to it because I just got this figured out this morning so we're going to click on verb edit I'll put a shortcut on my desktop to it because it is so handy okay now then we're going to click on, click on create video and we'll call this um, demo of uh, roll and pitch and we'll click on create video okay now we have to import that so we go up here to import up here and uh, come over here to import other and then we have to find the file that we were just uh, talking about <clears throat> and uh, let's make sure I've got it right here let's go up and we'll come down here to my folder which is right there and we want to go uh, for verb to demo that's the one if we try to use the original file it won't work so we'll click on that and we'll click on open and import only <clears throat> now you know if you've used verb edit if you don't get two lines here uh, 
you're not gonna it's not gonna be successful but since I'm seeing two lines uh, just so you'll know when it says optimizing then it's it's working so we're gonna sit there and let it optimize and then we'll uh, speed things up and get back to it Okay, it's all done optimizing. Now we're going to go in and uh, uh, put the uh, finishing touches on it. So here is up here in the top row up here, here's our video uh, that we made, which is special for Verb. And we're going to drag it down into the bottom line here, the timeline. Okay, and if you want to see it spread out a little bit, you can just pull this like this and spread it out and you see more pictures, but that's not important. Important thing is, what do we do next? Well, we've imported our our clip. Now we're going to come up here to G Metrics and click on that. That's going to bring us to this screen, which we see G Metrics one more time, and then we see it one more time because we have to import it. And we're going to import it from our computer. It says on my computer right here. So we're going to do that. And we got to come down here and we have to find the folder. Now, what I already have done is I have already uh, downloaded the uh, files that are needed, the FIT files that are needed in order to uh, match up the, uh, the, um, oh, the flight data manager with, with, uh, with uh, Garmin verb edit. So let me minimize this and what you do is you go to flight data the flight data manager and <clears throat> click on load data from parrot <clears throat> and then whatever day that you're looking for that's the day that you double click on for instance uh, we're way back here in December of some December uh, sometime back here and I think it might have been this one here. No, maybe it was. I don't know. We'll see. Anyway, you double click on that and then it takes you and it shows you the telemetry data that was uh, measured here. And then uh, you can also click on switch to maps down here on the bottom. And sure enough, that's not the one. <laughs> that's when uh, this is the one that I did the Christmas lights show for. But anyway, then you would go over here and export it to up here in the upper right hand corner, export to data files. And I've already done that because it, as you can see, there was a little bit of confusion there. So I'm going to go up one step here and make sure I'm in the right folder. And there it is right there. And uh, the FIT files, FIT files, this one is for feet. This one is for meters. I'm going to use feet. So I'll click on that. And... Uh, uh, double oh I know what I gotta do I gotta go back to verb I'm gonna browse then I'm gonna go up one and come down here to the bottom and click on that now there's my fit file for this for this I hope <laughs> for this video so we'll click there and we'll click on open and it should let us see where we are here um, Okay, it's not showing me what I want to see, but we'll go ahead and say we'll use this log because it looks pretty close to what it would be. All right, now we're going to go back here. Oh, we got to get back to the beginning. There's the beginning. All right, now uh, we we have an issue here, and I don't know what it is. This is an older version. I haven't used it uh, before, so I don't know what for sure is going to happen. But uh, we've got our, our G metrics. Now the next thing we have to do is go up here and click on templates. So we'll click on templates. And we're going to come find uh, a Bebop template somewhere in here. All right. Uh, okay. Here's a, here's a good one right here. Let me see if we can find a better one. Um, okay. Um, 
this one, number nine. We'll see what this is like. Okay, so here we have our pitch and roll, and uh, we're going to test this out by clicking on go. And you can see it works. We'll make sure uh, we got the right one. He's going to turn here pretty soon. Okay, so we know that's the one. All right, that's the one that we're uh, just matched up and everything. So we go up here to the right, upper right hand corner. We click on export, and we'll make it easy. We'll just keep everything uh, simple here because we want to get this done in a hurry. But we better browse and make sure that uh, it's going to take it to where we want it to be. And notice we're going to select the folder. And, and I know this is the folder from looking at it here. So we just select the folder and then we select export. And this is going to take quite a while. So uh, we'll stop the video and we'll come back and uh, take a look at it when it's finished. All right, we've got our video uh, finished. Click on done. And uh, we're going to be looking for demo of roll and pitch, I think is what we're going to be looking for. So we'll go to our folder here, and um, there it is right there, demo of roll and pitch. We'll bring it up, get it to be full screen. And as you can see, we're getting some readings there, but I'm going to um, gonna go a little further up into the video where we at here, right about there. Okay, here we're coming up to the power lines, and you can see that we've got roll and pitch, and... Um, our uh, altitude over the ground and our uh, feet and altitude from the launch point are fairly close. You can see that we've uh, gone uphill a little or, or downhill a little bit. I guess we've gone uphill from the launch point. All right, so here we go. We're looking, uh, you can see rolling picture there altitude above ground and the altitude from launch point are all working and uh, so I think we have a successful way of going about getting things back to normal uh, by downloading the older version of uh, verb edit from mrkent.com forward slash bebop and uh, uh, I think it's the version 4.2.2 that does all this so, I hope it's been helpful to you. I want to thank you for watching, and God bless you.